for most of us, the divide blend mode in Photoshop is something that we never used. It seems like Adobe just put it in there just to make the software look more intimidating. But if you look at it closely, the divide blend mode involves an incredibly amazing mathematics and all the formulas that if you understand, you can use it to your advantage. Today, first, we're going to start with one of the amazing applications of the divide blend mode where you can magically remove any color cast from a photo. Then we're going to dig deep into the real mathematics and the formulas. Trust me. It's interesting. Math is not boring. It's really fun. If you understand it, it might just open up immense and infinite possibilities for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, check the links in the description. So let's say there's a green or bluish, some kind of color cast to this image. And it might look beautiful and it might not look beautiful. That's not the point of this tutorial. The point of this tutorial is how you can remove it and make it absolutely neutral. All you have to do is to select an area which should have been white while you were taking this photo, while this photo was being taken. All right, so let's look at this image. I think this area should have been white, right? But what absolutely should have been white is this part of her earrings. Something that should have been white, but is not white due to the color cast. All right. So here's what we do. Maybe a little bit off white area would, is fine too, if you're losing the details. All right. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. Pick any color you want. It does not matter right now. Hit OK. All right. Let's turn it off for a moment. Double click on it. All right, double click on the symbol of the adjustment layer. The properties are going to load up. In this case, the color picker just loaded up. Let's zoom in and pick this color. Make sure the sample size is three by three or five by five and sample is current and below. So let's pick this color. This is a nice color. Hit OK. Now turn it on. All you have to do now is to change the blend mode from normal to guess what? This is a tutorial about divide. So let's change it to divide and have a look. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's take a look. Here's the before. Here's the after. It's gone. Amazing, isn't it? Now, if you think you're losing more details, if you zoom in right there, here's the before, here's the after. We are losing details, right? So you want to get those back? Simple. Just double click on it to open that up. Select B from right here. B stands for brightness. So let's take it up. And as you take it up, you'll get the details back. So let's zoom out and have a look. If we take the slider down, we are going to slowly lose the details in the highlights. We don't want that. Just take it up enough to get all the details back. This is fine. All the way up is good too. I'm all the way up. Hit OK. And there you go. Beautifully solved. Before, after. Gone. Amazing, isn't it? We want to see more examples. So here's another beautiful lady. We do the same things. We create a solid color adjustment layer. You can also sample in advance. So let's zoom in which part of her dress should have been white. Now, these areas have a look at this area. This area is already losing details. It has no color information. So we're going to have to choose the next closest area, which might have some color information. So choose the color picker right there and pick this color. OK, now once that color is loaded up right in there, click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color at the very top that color will be automatically picked for you. Hit OK. Now change the blend mode from normal to guess what? Divide. There you have it. Let's zoom out and have a look. Here's the before. Here's the after. Now, of course, we are losing the details in the highlights. What do we do? We double click on the symbol of the solid color adjustment layer. We are in B. Just take it up. Boom. There you go. Before, after, before, after. So beautifully, the cast is gone. Now here, my friend, is the most interesting part of the tutorial. Bear with me. This is fun. All right. So this is my friend, the formula of the divide blend mode. Let's take a look for the divide blend mode. The resulting color is equal to 256 divided by a divided by B in brackets. Make sense? No. Now, a here is color of the layer with divide blend mode. All right. And B color of the stuff beneath it. So A is what? The layer that you have set to divide blend mode, the color of that layer. And B is anything that is beneath it. Color of anything that is beneath it. Now we always understand with examples. So let me show you a nice example right there. So let's pick any color at random. So we're going to create a brand new layer. All right, layer one. And let's pick any color. So we're going to pick this shade of red. 
all right now remember the rgb number right there 111 44 and 44 hit okay let's paint with it right in here and let's write the numbers 111 44 and then 44 cool now let's create one more layer and in this case let's pick any other random color let's pick this color for example so this is 13 108 35 okay so we're gonna paint just over it 13 108 and 35 these are the r g and b values now if we change the blend mode of layer 2 to divide let's see what happens change the blend mode from normal to divide we get this color in the middle so let's create one more layer and pick this color and this is actually the resulting color and the numbers of the resulting colors are 255 104 and 255 all right let's write it 255 104 255 now we're going to change back the blend mode of layer 2 to normal so that you can see what's happening so let's change it back to normal so we had to set layer 2 to divide right so let's put in the values and let's see if we get the resulting color the resulting color rc equals 256 let's see for the values in the middle which is green values g values all right 256 divided by a is the color of the layer with the divide blend mode which was layer 2 in this case what is the number of g 108 so let's put 108 right there divided by b which is the color of the stuff beneath it so the stuff beneath it was this color which was layer 1 and the number here is 44 let's put it right there and let's calculate this so it should be equal to 256 divided by 2.45 which turns out to be 104.2 does it remind you of something have a look at this i'm sorry wrong stroke <laughs> look at this 104 isn't that amazing so similarly you can find it for these values and those values as well sometimes the values might exceed 255 now since 255 is the highest value it keeps it at 255 now keep in mind this is r this is g this is b now let's try for r for r the resulting color is equals to 256 divided by 13 divided by 111 13 divided by 111 the answer will turn out to be 2185.84 now this is such a high value that we cannot use it the higher limit inside the color picker for the r g and b values is 255 and that's why it is 255 right here because it cannot go higher than 255 now some of you might still have the question in mind as to how did it work in removing color casts this is how just use the formula so the resulting color for the divide blend mode is 256 divided by a divided by b in brackets right now when we took the color of the color cast and we created a solid color adjustment layer with the same color this is what happens have a look the resulting color turns out to be 256 divided by let's say we picked the color and the number of that color was x right and we picked the same color in a brand new layer right the color cast color instead of white all right now something divided by itself is what one so 256 divided by one is what 250 6 which is actually the 256th value that is white isn't that interesting now let me give you a homework please do it please try it it's an interesting one now you know the formula now you know how it works we also learned one application of how to use it your homework your assignment is and this is actually a challenge find out one more use using this formula of the divide blend mode please take up the challenge just try it even if you can't find one try it play with the formula see how it works understand the concept and if you find an application just share with us 
in the comments. I would love to read it. And if it's an amazing one, would love to feature it in the next video. If the divide Benmo didn't exist, I don't know if our lives would have turned out differently. But I do know for sure that if we do not take precautions during this time, things might just go out of hand. We need to be responsible for ourselves and everybody around us. Thank you so much for what you're doing to stop this outbreak. My prayers and best wishes are always with you and your family. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep learning Photoshop. Make this time productive. Do not worry. This will pass too. We are always here to keep you company. As a community, we need to just be creative. Just keep creating amazing stuff. Be awesome. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you do not forget. Just keep creating. Thank you.